Retirement in the Philippines, does it offer a good retirement experience? I would have to say it depends on the person, but I'll say for the majority of people, they're generally happy. Um, you have to be aware that a lot of it is how people live. It's preparing yourself. It's understanding that a lot of the things you're used to is going to change completely. If you're used to having um, good uh, well, medical facilities sometimes, um, then you might find that where you've decided to settle may have a doctor in a prayer book. You know, it's some of the places lack major facilities, but at the same time, a lot of people accept it. You know, you adapt to it. But the reasons people generally find that they love the Philippines and quite happy to stay there till they die and don't want to go home even if they're broke is they're generally happy even when they're not. Uh, it's hard to explain, but if you imagine there was a typhoon, wiped everything out, within a week or two, the Philippines turns back to normal normality. It's not driving all this um, fundraising sort of stuff. I, and I, I know you see it in the media, but that's a different thing. When you, when you actually see where the money goes, it, it's nothing to do with the actual people themselves. It's extortion, um, in my opinion. But the, it's, it's more to do with manipulating things, and it's not the people that are normally needing this stuff that either does it or receives it. They certainly don't receive the, the, the greater chunk of it. But you find even in the worst scenarios, people are generally happy. I know with Typhoon Haiyan, we were up in Tindog, uh, which is in northern Seabird, and we'd already driven for several hours, and basically every telegraph pole was either down or split in half, so no power, there's no water, every, you know, everything's been killed off, you know, there's no, all the roofs on every house we've seen, they had been ripped off. And then when we went to give the food, every person was saying thank you and smiled as they took the food. Now it wasn't because we were, um, they felt obliged to do it. They appreciate the fact that A, we come to help them, but B, that is generally the Filipino spirit. It's, it uplifts itself, you know, the, the people lift themselves up. They, they go, all right, life's crap, move on. Um, another group that was with us at the same time, because we sort of went together, um, they were from my religious group and one of the things they were given were their um, donations with their, was a book, uh, well sorry, it was like an A4 sheet, I think it was laminated as well, but they were giving them to every single person, so we gave, gave out thousands of them, but the whole point is it was like a prayer and all this sort of stuff, because for me, I got, religion's a strange thing for me, I, I, don't, I just don't, don't get it, but for asking my wife about it is because it gave people hope you know because they have this um, thing that's sort of saying you know everything's for a reason blah 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 it sort of lifts people up rather than questioning um, why this happened what happened but you know it, it moved the thoughts thoughts into today rather than yesterday um, which I thought it's, it's, it's a good thing in that sense. But like I said, I don't get really, you know, for me, I'm more the person to say, right, why did the roof come off? Did, was there enough weight on it? Was there something that we could have done to prevent it? But a lot of time, um, that damn ball's going back over this stuff, but a lot of, there's a time and a place for it, you see. And that, that's the thing, we're giving this stuff away, you're just there uh, helping people out, and they, what they do is their business. But at the same time, is what makes the Philippines what it is. Generally, people are happy people. Doesn't matter how bad things are, you will still get a smile most of the time. Um, I think that's what makes it rather unique. And also, also the 12 hours of sunshine, um, lots of beautiful women, relatively cheap cost of living. I, I'd say my cost of living is about the same as Spain these days. Uh, because the kids, kids cost me a lot more in the Philippines, but they, they cost me a fair few euros here. Um, so they're about, the same. my cost of living is about the same. But um, yeah, that's what I'd say. You know, if you're going to retire in the Philippines, do your homework, know where you're going to go, understand what you're going to be doing and what you're expecting. Don't expect everything to be fantastic. Don't expect the 
there to be no power cuts or water shortages and this sort of thing because if you get a power cut a lot of the water processing just seems to go I'm not sure why because I mean I know where uh, Mingle and Ilya fed from a reservoir but I, it must need the pumps to actually feed it all through and there's probably a water treatment I'm not even sure there's a water treatment process there or not and we've been up there but the um, the point being is it doesn't actually work you know the power goes off the water then goes off um, so you've got to be aware of the, these things you have to adapt to if you call a power company and go oh my power's off or whatever uh, it's more a case of well it'll come back on when it comes on because they ain't going to rush it because it's you because half the neighborhood could be off it could be the entire town the Philippines has got power issues. It, it does rotation on the power. It's not a small issue, it's a major one which is growing. Um, adapt to the environment. Thanks for listening.